Hey guys, got a, a WTF for you today. Got this 2010 Ford Fiesta with on, only, only 89,000 miles on it. It's automatic, it's got the dual clutch. Let's not go there. The transmission already went, this is a new used transmission. Decided to change the cabin filter. That was a mistake. And here is that cabin, I mean look at this. This was never changed during the 89,000, 90,000 miles. And this, this is how it came out, it actually got stuck. I had to pull it out. I mean, this is just, I've seen a lot of, you know, dirty cabin filters with leaves and vegetation and whatnot, but never this kind of just dust, dirt buildup. And this was much thicker. Half of it fell on the floor while I was taking it off. But why the WTF video? You ask, is it just for the dirty filter? Nope, it's where it is. So you gotta take this panel off, right here. Right away you can see three torque bolts. One, two, three. All right, airflow coming this way, easy enough. I'm gonna take these three bolts off, screws, pull it down, yank it out, put in the new one, job done. No, 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 Ford engineers had better ideas. They put a screw <laughs> right up there. Okay, you have this much room to, to, you know, put whatever tool you've got over here. And if that wasn't enough, there's another one right up here. Okay, even with less room, about, I'd say, less than an inch. So yeah, so once you take this off, it doesn't just slide out, you gotta kind of crumble it, you know, pull it, whatever. And when you're putting in the new one, you also gotta squeeze it, crumble it a little bit, break it, you know, and uh, shove it in. I mean, why? Why are there screws everywhere? Okay, these three, easy access. I actually took these out with my uh, drill, right? But those two, why? Why not clips? Why not just put in clips there, Ford? Are these people making our jobs more difficult on purpose? I think they are. Or they're just plain stupid. Maybe both. Unnecessary. It's it's like <laughs> they just don't want us to work on their cars. That's, that's all it is. So we go to the dealer. We pay, I don't know, 100 bucks to replace a cabin filter. You know, this thing cost me $15. See ya.